Guess what we're doing today? I bet you guys can guess. We're gonna make some dog treats. But what are we making? We're actually gonna make apple pie for dogs. Little mini apple pies for dogs. But before we even get started, I wanna remind everybody, this is a treat, not a meal replacement. So you don't wanna feed these to your dogs all the time. This is just a treat, just for fun. We're gonna make some apple pies since it's apple season. Let's get to it. So this recipe is a little bit more complex than some of the ones we have done before. We are actually going to make our own pie crust and our own apple pie filling. And yeah, if you really wanna eat it, you can. There's no added sugar in this, so it's gonna be a pretty healthy version of apple pie but for dogs. <laughs> what do you do, wanna try the flour? I don't think you'll like that flour all by itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bowl and we are going to make the pie crusts. I am making mini pies. So I have my little mini pie pan. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link for that down in the video description below. We are going to need to take one cup of unsweetened coconut milk, a half a cup of coconut oil, Somebody asked me about the coconut oil. I use coconut cooking oil. That's why it's already, that's why it looks like oil. <laughs> and then two and three quarter cups of whole wheat pastry flour. You can use regular whole wheat flour as well, but the pastry flour is gonna work a little bit different. And now we're gonna mix this together. So as we mix our dough together, we don't want it to be super wet. What are you doing? We don't want it to be super wet. We want it to make it so we can actually roll it out and flatten it because we're gonna put it in little pie pans. If it is really, really moist and it sticks to your hand, just put a little bit more flour in it. And if it, of course, is too dry, just add a little bit more of the coconut milk and you should be fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we are going to roll it out so we can put it into our pie pans. So we're gonna take a little bit of this dough and we're gonna roll it into a ball. And since I'm doing a little bit smaller ones, we don't need a really big ball. So roll it out into a ball and then take my favorite rolling pin ever, get some parchment paper, I'm put the ball underneath here, flatten it out a little bit. Does it smell good? Does it smell good? My mom's like, this smells really good, guys. And then we're gonna roll it out and try to keep it in a circle. And we are doing this at a quarter of an inch thick. So now we've got pretty close to a circle. We're gonna take it. We're going to set it on top of our pie crust pan and kind of just push it down in there. Not too hard. We don't need to push it too hard. And then we can tear off the excess. Now we have a beautiful pie crust. We are going to go ahead and finish these out. So you can either do these open face or you can take leftover pie crust. And what you can do is after you put your pie filling in, you can roll this out into a circle or cut it into strips and make it look like a really cool apple pie or do open face. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I got to fill up the rest of these. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside and we're going to make the filling. So next comes the fun part. We're gonna take four apples and we are going to peel them and core them and slice them. And we're gonna use this awesome contraption to do all of that at one time. Cause it makes it a lot easier than trying to do it all separately. Are you ready for apple noodles? <laughs> the dogs are like, apple noodles. I'm sure you've seen one of these used before because we used one last week. This one to be exact. So peel apples, core the apples, slice the apples. I guess we didn't peel them last time though, did we? Woo! Take that apple off. Look at look at what we got. Look, noodles. Whoops. Apple noodles. Apple noodles. Whoa. <laughs> she took it right out of my hand. Memphis, look. Memphis here. <laughs> Did Memphis take that from you? Here you want another one. Apple noodle, there you go. That was what I was trying to get her to do. So I was like, I don't know if I like apple noodles. Here Memphis, you want an apple noodle? Apple noodles! <laughs> Here Shelby, want a little one? Want a little one? Oh, she actually took that. Maybe she'll like this kind of apples. <laughs> So in the pan that we're actually gonna cook these in, I'm gonna put just a splash 
of lemon juice in there. And then as I put that, cut the apples up, I'm gonna put them right in there and toss them in the lemon juice. That way they won't turn brown. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, now that we have these apples, since I'm making them for the dogs, I'm actually gonna cut these four times. Normally you only do it two, maybe three times when it's for people. Cause you want the pieces, the slices for your apple pie to be nice and big. But we're gonna cut them a little bit smaller. We're gonna put them right in there. Kind of swirl them around in that juice. Piece of apple? Ho 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 ho. Oakley, piece of apple? Oakley's like, I can't walk there. Shelby's in the way. There you go. Piece of apple? Oh my goodness. This is your favorite thing ever. Shelby, piece of apple? Shelby says no. <laughs> we're only gonna do three apples. Because these apples are a pretty good size. So we're gonna do three apples. That should be good. So you're gonna end up with what should be about three cups of chopped up apples. Now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of unsweetened apple juice and I'm gonna pour this in here. A little bit, I mean just a little bit, probably measurement wise, maybe two tablespoons. So a little bit. Now we're gonna take and we are going to cook these apples on the stove. We're gonna cook them for about 10 minutes and get them softened and uh, then we're gonna move on to the next step. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the stove and show you the next thing we need to do while we get these cooking. So while we have the apples getting tender, uh, we, we wanna cook them over like a medium heat until for about 10 minutes. I'll show you that in a second. We're gonna make the thickening agent to kinda, you know how apple pie has that like gel stuff kind of in the middle? Well, we're gonna kinda make that, but again, with no added sugar. Um, side note. We're gonna put cinnamon in this. Some of you guys are gonna ask why we didn't put nutmeg in it. Some of you guys are gonna look it up before you ask, but don't, do not put nutmeg in this because nutmeg is, nutmeg is not safe for dogs. So this is gonna have a little bit of cinnamon, which is okay, but don't put nutmeg in it. Nutmeg is, is not good for dogs. <laughs> and while I have your undivided attention telling you what not to give your dogs, <laughs> Uh, this is the time where I'm gonna remind you guys if you want to see more of our treat videos There will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below if you're new to this channel Don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends to help us keep growing the audience Click on that bell to turn on all notifications so that you know when all of our new treat videos and live videos and all the fun things go up Let's make this thickening agent so we can keep making some apple pie. It smells amazing in here already in a little dish we're gonna take one tablespoon of cornstarch about a half a tablespoon of cinnamon, maybe a little bit less. We're just gonna sprinkle some in here. We don't need a ton. And then we're going to take some of the unsweetened apple juice and we are going to add that to it. How much? Maybe a quarter of a cup. We're gonna mix it in here. We're gonna whisk this together. And what this is gonna do is once we get those apples heated, we're gonna add this and stir it in. And then that's gonna help us thicken the stuff inside the pie. So now we have our pie filling here on the stove, cooking it over a medium heat, stirring it gently, and basically you're just waiting until these apples get a little bit soft. While we're waiting, we are going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 350. So let's get that preheating. Okay, our apples are nice and softened. We are going to take our mixture we made and pour it in here. And now we are going to bring this to a simmer and simmer it until it gets nice and thick. Check that out. You can see the saucy stuff in the middle has gotten a little bit thick and there's not a lot of it because we didn't need a lot of it. Oh, fogging up the camera. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the heat and we're gonna spoon it into our little pie crusts. Now we're just gonna take and scoop it in here. We're gonna do that with all of them. Now we've got our pies and we've got our filling and Memphis is gonna try to lick it because it probably smells amazing. And now we're gonna take our lattice, which again, this is not something you have to do, but you can do. And we're going to go ahead and make the top of the pie. I'm not gonna be fancy. I know normally when you do this, you like weave it and make it all fancy. We're, we're not that fancy, <laughs> but you can do that. We're gonna put a little bit of this stuff on the top of this pie crust. Kind of like that. Looks like a pie to me. So we're gonna go ahead and do this to all of them. And then we are going to put these in the oven for at 350 for about 
because they're mini pies, you don't necessarily have to do it as long as if it's a big pie. So we're gonna put them in there to start for about 25 minutes, and then we're gonna check them. When the tops of these start to turn brown, that's pretty much when you know they're done. So anywhere between 25 minutes and 45 minutes is about what it's gonna take. So I'm gonna finish decorating the tops of these and pop them in the oven. There they are. We're gonna put them in the oven. Well, I think we did it. It looks like apple pie to me. I left mine in for about 35 minutes. Oh my goodness. Would you like a slice? Would you like a slice? They're not getting the whole apple pie. I'm gonna cut it into four pieces. So you each get a slice. Yeah, you ready to try it? Let's try it, see what you think. All right, since apples are your favorite, I think, oh, you don't have to jump. I think you get to go first, what do you think? She's like, I think I will eat that whole little slice of apple pie. <laughs> oh look, you actually are taking it apart. You're not just super scarfing it. Good job. How is it? Is it delicious? She's like, this is pretty good guys. I could eat more. <laughs> uh, good stuff? All right, let's see who else likes it. All right, now it's Miss Shelby's turn. No, you guys sit. Yeah, you want this? You want it? Okay, right, sit. All right, let's see what Shelby thinks. Since you're the one that wouldn't eat the apples by themselves. She, how did I know you'd like it once it was all together? So I think Shelby's thing is fruit with dip or put the fruit all together. Oh, there's a bee! Don't eat the bee! Don't eat the bee! Oh, he flew away. Oh no, he's back! He's probably going for this apple. Don't eat the bee! The bee is not delicious. <laughs> Eat your apple pie. I'll get rid of the bee. <laughs> there, we got rid of the bee. Eat your apple pie. <laughs> Here, we gotta steal your pie. Are you ready to try it? Can you speak? That was a spring. That was a jump. Yeah? Can you wait? Wait, ah, uh, wait, ah, uh, wait. She's like, I can't do it. She's like, I can't do it. There's too much pressure. Oh, three bites, four bites, and it's gone. Did you taste it? Was it good? Are you already looking for more? She's like, and that was amazing. <laughs> well, I think that was a win. I think everybody enjoyed the apple pie for dogs. Did you like that? Was that good stuff? Yeah. So yeah, as always, you guys, if you want to see more of our treat videos, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. Be sure to go check those out. We have lots of other fun amazing things you can make last week we did diy apple rings for the dogs and uh they all liked that as well well except for shelby she wasn't a huge fan of it <laughs> but apples are oakley's favorite and it's apple season so we figured we'd make some fun apple treats all right you guys as always if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing stay positive dream big and we will see you again soon Goodbye, audience. I think she's looking for crumbs. <laughs>